Welcome to What Do You Know Wednesdays. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the top five goals for e-commerce pay-per-click landing pages. Uh, your first goal should be using your product page as a landing page. Uh, sending your paid search traffic or any traffic that can be deduced based on a buyer's needs straight to the home page or category page of a website can spell disaster for your PPC campaign. The problem with this practice is that it assumes your visitors will automatically know where to go to get what they're searching for. Uh, besides, any good marketer drives relevancy in their keyword to lower their cost per click and increase their conversions to improve their return on investment anyway. When you take the easy way out by making your persuasion funnel too wide, it means the content and the click path have to be that much better to compensate for the bounce the user will likely incur. You have less than 10 seconds to maintain a user's interest on a landing page. If you fail to convey a relevant content to the end user, you're essentially throwing away a potential conversion. Your end user needs to get an answer to only one question in those 10 seconds, which is, do you have what I need? You can use doppelpager.com to edit existing product landing pages or create new ones without any programming knowledge. With doppelpager.com, you can implement all the goals I'll be talking about to get more from your landing pages and increase your conversions. So your second goal is to persuade the conversion. Uh, don't shake the funnel or all your conversions could fall out. Uh, get rid of anything on the landing page that doesn't persuade. Establish buyer's confidence, upsell, add unique value, or offer highly relevant content about your product. Based on the keywords used in your PPC campaign, you know exactly what the user is seeking. When you're using exact target matching, you do know exactly what your user wants. Any additional elements on that page that don't conform to your message must be removed or they will deter the conversion and ultimately lead to browsing when your customers should be buying. In almost all cases, a PPC landing page for a product shouldn't have a link to any social networking. This is a great way to get visitors to have a fleeting interest in your product while they move from your funnel to someone else's. After all, conversions are the ultimate goal of the PPC campaign not social engagement. I highly recommend reading the publication Call to Action, Secret Formulas to Improve Online Results by Brian and Jeffrey Eisenberg to fully understand the best practices for persuasion architecture with landing pages. Your third goal should be to softly champion your call to action. So what is your e-commerce PPC budget for? Are you paying for these clicks because you, I mean, essentially you're paying for these clicks because you expect visitors to buy what you're selling. It always amazes me how marketers or developers bury the call to action below the fold or make it so small it can barely be seen. And this practice is tantamount to setting money on fire. And nothing to change that practice is equivalent to watching it burn. Your call to action should communicate a very concise and soft message to your user. I prefer to use a big button that has a contrasting color to your text that literally pops on the page. Uh, I encourage the use of dynamic imaging as well, but let me be clear on that point though. It's not a good practice to only show a call to action based on the user's mouth pass, uh, so, such as rollovers or hover features. You can make the call to action dynamic, but it should always be visible no matter what the user is doing on that particular page. Keep the language soft and concise. If you don't, you'll imply that the checkout process is immediate and you'll commit your user to doing something they may not be ready for. You need to softly persuade your user. Don't force the conversion or assume too much about your user unless you have the data from your testing that suggests this change works for this individual particular product. For example, download for free, quick look, or add to cart. Goal number four would be to barter with your user for the micro conversion. If your product is available as a trial, or here's a great example, it has a longer sales cycle that requires a considered purchase, you have a unique opportunity to basically persuade the micro-conversion at that point. By requiring the visitor to submit their email address or mobile number in order to receive a white paper, case study, or coupon you're offering, use this data to build a micro funnel for your multi-channel market. You'll then have higher open and response rates for multi-channel marketing efforts using email and SMS. 
there is too much at stake. Never let your users leave your funnel without trying to get information to bring them back to that funnel later. And number five, probably the most important, measure and test and do it often. Measuring and tracking is a fundamental best practice for any marketer, but even more important one for an internet marketer. If you don't know where you're going, any road will basically take you there. Google AdWords and Microsoft Ad Center provide conversion tracking codes that you can place on the confirmation page, and they're free and very accurate. This code is customizable to segment the value you need to pass. You want to spend time planning how you'll track the conversion value and get as granulated as you can so you can see how, how each one impacts the keyword in your campaign. You need multiple tracking codes. You need one for your conversion funnel, one for your leads, one for the micro conversion. Don't underestimate the power of tracking your losses as much as your successes. You can learn a tremendous amount from both. You need to test, and you need to test often. You can't deploy PPC campaigns and product-specific landing pages on a set-and-forget strategy. Always test using very minor and singular changes, and watch the bounce, and examine changes in heat maps. A great landing page is always an exercise into perfecting the persuasion. Remember this. If you're paying for traffic, don't forget the difference between price and cost. The price for your clicks can be far outweighed by the cost of abandonment when you lack a persuasion methodology for your landing.